The Onda RFB2000 is designed specifically for the measurement of ultrasound power and easily handles a wide range of diagnostic, physiotherapy, high food ultrasound products, and laboratory devices without requiring extensive need for correction factors. The RFB2000 consists of cables for the electronic controller, a base for easy storage, a weight kit, and the electronic controller. The calibration kit includes a plastic stand, a metal hook reach, and a known 1.0 gram mass. Before making any measurements, check to see that the tank is free of any foreign objects and that the sensor is placed on the plastic unit base when not in use. The sensor is designed with magnets integrated to the bottom of the assembly, which can cause inadvertent damage if the sensor is placed on a metallic surface. To start off, unpack the sensor by taking off the plastic cap and taking out the pins. The pins can then be placed in the black plastic base for easy storage. When placing the sensor in the tank, make sure that the base is parallel with the bottom of the tank and resting on the three screws. Then place the target on top, making sure to line it up with the rest of the sensor. In order to check on whether or not the sensor is set up correctly, gently push the sensor to the bottom of the tank. With the water level in the tank above the sensor, the can of the sensor should be able to float to the top of its range. It should be possible to gently push the sensor float down by one millimeter with a finger. To calibrate the RFB2000, place the plastic stand vertically on top of the sensor so that half of the stand is above water and the other half below. This will allow the user to apply the calibrated standard weight to simulate a constant ultrasound power. After entering the known weight of the calibration reference mass when prompted, press OK to read and acknowledge the instructions. When you click start, the button below the table will read weight in red, and then change to apply mass in green. It will also play a sound when it's time to apply or remove the mass. Place the mass on the platform and press enter or the spacebar. The button will again read weight and after 2 seconds will change to remove mass. Continue this process for several cycles and then click stop. Multiple measurement cycles are allowed to average out random variations in the measurement. We recommend repeating these steps for at least 3 cycles. Once the cycles are done, click apply this result and the calibration result will be stored in the program setup information. When finished with the calibration, just follow the on-screen instructions to start measuring. One recommendation when making measurements is to use filtered water that is degassed and deionized, and that the water level should be 15 to 25 millimeters above the target. Some questions to ask when encountering problems are, is the sensor mechanism free of bubbles? Is the controller on and are both ends of the cable to the tank connected? And is the controller connected to the computer? Damage such as bent or recessed pins on the cable can lead to inconclusive measurements. When running the mass cow, make sure to remove the stand and re-zero the system before exiting the calibration routine. When the software is checking the position sensor, the user should watch to see if the sensor is going between the lower and upper stops. If the position sensor results are not good, make sure that the sensor is properly seated, and if it is, visually check to see if the hinges are broken. The RFP2000 is visually transparent for easy monitoring of the test transducer, making it easy to set up and use. The system provides convenient support for transducer mounting and requires no special membranes or acoustic gel. We recommend changing the water as often as daily and having the RFB professionally calibrated every two years. For any questions or more information, please visit our website at www.ondacorp.com.